Well, good day. I'm Elena Rusk. We begin with that breaking news as former President Donald Trump has just endorsed Assemblymember Vince Fong for Congress. 17's Jenny Ha joins us in studio with what she's learned so far in this historic announcement. Jenny? Elena, this is a significant endorsement, potentially a game changer in this race to replace Kevin McCarthy in Congress. Vince Fong and Tulare Sheriff Mike Boudreau are viewed as the top two Republican candidates, but with Trump getting involved, it really could sway voters. Trump in a Truth Social post just this morning said in part, quote, Vince was one of only six Republicans in the state assembly to stand with me and reject the second impeachment hoax. I am proud to join California's Republican congressional delegation and give Vince Fong my complete complete and total endorsement. In a statement, Fong stated in part, quote, we are ready to once again have leaders in DC like President Trump that will fight for our interests and values. Now, Vince Fong early on in his campaign endorsed Trump for 2024, and Kevin McCarthy was the first to endorse Fong in his congressional run. Because of Fong's close ties to McCarthy, there was doubt Trump would actually become part of this race, given the recent lack of clarity on how closely aligned with Trump McCarthy was. A spokesperson for Mike Boudreaux says no comment, but that it's full steam ahead for their campaign. Remember, this all comes right after two big Kern County names, Sheriff Donnie Youngblood and State Senator Shannon Grove, that's who you're seeing on your screen, endorsed Boudreaux, dividing the local GOP. I'll have much more tonight on 17 News at 5 in studio. Jenny Hupp, 17 News.